Hello everyone. Today we'll see how we can work with an Excel and a JSON file. So what we're going to do is the same hello world scenario. We are going to fetch the username from an Excel file and probably a password from the JSON file. And we can see how we can interact with both these particular files. Okay. So if you're not aware of how to do the basic uh, login scenario using Excel cube. You can refer to my previous video where I have explained the same. So let's get started. So this is the previous scenario where we entered the username and the password for web automation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this username from an Excel file and I'm going to take the password from a JSON file and let's see how we can leverage that. So let me add a statement before this. So here I say, if you just type Excel, you will get all the possible actions you can do with an Excel file. So here I'm going to get a particular text. So I say get cell text in Excel file. And here I specify which row number. Now you can also specify the Excel files in your user data. So wherever you have installed your agent, you need to go into the user data folder and you can place the Excel file over that. So you don't need to give the complete path whenever you're trying to interact with an Excel file. So let's quickly open this Excel file. So in this Excel file, basically I have entered the username and the password. So let's say we want to fetch the username. So the username now is in row number two and the first column and the sheet is specifically credentials. Okay. So let's specify that here. So I say row number two, I hit enter the first column. I say enter the file path. So here I, since I have placed it in the user data folder where my agent is installed, I don't need to give the complete file path. So what I'll do is I'll just copy the file name here so it's user credentials dot xls and then the sheet name is credentials okay so this is specifically the sheet name you get from here so i say enter and i want to capture this particular as a local parameter and i say new local parameter i say username excel Okay, so we have saved the username now in from an Excel file to be used in our action logic. Now let's see how we can work with JSON files. So I've already created a JSON file. Again, I have stored it in user data. So this is my JSON file where I have my QBank credentials, username and the password. So let's say we want to get this password. Okay, so we go here. The first and foremost thing you need to do when you work with JSON files is to get the file content. So let's get the file content. Okay. So we get the JSON file content. The name of this JSON file is user credentials.json. So I copy this. Okay. And now I capture this content in a local parameter again. So I say here, JSON file content. Okay, awesome. So now I have placed the file content. Now what I need to do is I want to get the password field from this JSON uh, file, right? So I have to get this particular node, which is the password node. So what do I do here? I say, get json node so you will get all the options you can work with json so right now i want to get the node so i say get json node and here i specify the content so my content is now nothing but a local parameter which is json file content and my node specifically is dollar so i want to get dollar then i want to pass to this node which is qbank so i say dot Cubank 
dot the next thing I want to do is credentials so I can just copy this so I don't make any mistakes now the credentials is I want the first credentials so I say first and then within this first section I want the password so I say credentials dot password awesome and now I want to save this again as a local parameter and I say here password JSON okay and I say here new local parameter and I say save okay so now what we have done is we have created uh, and fetch the values of username from Excel and password from JSON. So now let's just pass it here. So instead of the hard coding, what I'll use is I'll use the local parameter. So I say here, username from an Excel and the parameter or the password that I want is again a local parameter and this is from a JSON file. So that's about it. Now your test is ready to be run. So I will just close this and now let's just run and see how it behaves okay so i will just run this on a production environment i say run and let's wait for the progress and let's see how things work so now your setup is in progress so now your scenario is invoked it will enter the username and the password from the excel and the json file respectively and you're good to go so this is how you can fetch in values from an excel or a json file and uh, run your scripts in excel queue uh, there are various other options as well which you can work with within excel queue you can work with PDFs as well. You can work with uh, a lot of databases. So there are a lot of options uh, when you're working and you know dealing with uh, action logic creation Excel queue. So there are a lot of other Excel features as well. You can update an Excel value. You can get an Excel row which is matching the particular criteria, uh, right? So there are a lot of uh, other functions you can work with with JSON as well. Uh, you can verify the array size uh, we talked about getting the json node you can add an item into a json array so yeah there are a couple of things you can explore here uh, and you can explore in our command library as well so yeah that's about it hope you like this short demo thank you